uh, to be honest with you, so we, when we built, we built this room, I was, we didn't know that guests would actually even want to come down right. here, to be very honest with you. Uh, and it was right when Simon started, and he's like, oh, what are you, we were just building this room. He's like, what are you all doing down here? I'm like, well, we wanted to create a space where we could at least bring guests down to show them the collection, because we, you know, we had this large collection, but most of the guests who had been supporting the program and supporting the hotel for so many years had never seen the cellar. And I thought that was absurd, because I thought, I think it's a really cool thing to, to, to bring yeah, sure. people down and actually see the wine itself. So we built this room, and uh, I, we wanted it, we didn't want it to look like a Vegas tasting room, we wanted it to look we, we didn't want it to look contrived. We wanted it to look very sort of warm and, and, and welcoming. Uh, hence, again, it, it's sort of an extension of, of the storage area. Uh, and the goal was really not to have people sign the walls. Uh, but one of our owners, and I'm not going to say who, thought it was a great idea and, and <laughs> went and it was the first to sign. And then I said, you know what? It's actually pretty cool in the sense that you have the opportunity to own a small piece of the wine cellar. Right. right? And you sort of immortalize because I'm not going to go around saving signatures off walls once they're there they're sort of there um and and, and it's there forever so with that said you will have to sign today yes right. uh, <laughs> and at some point we're gonna run out of 